Yeah, yeah. It's Pete on the corner. We've got Eddie Hicks. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah? That was wicked. Oh, thank you. So, I mean, Spatty's a beautiful club, huh? I'm so glad you could make it to Warsaw and, you know, be part of this trio. Yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure. It's a great club. Yeah, pleasure to be here. That's fine, man. It's absolutely it's a privilege to help make this happen, you know? Um, yeah, you killed it. I think you you got the one jazz um, one jazz kind of applause this evening, didn't you? You got the, the solo. You got the solo in there. I think you were waking people up a little bit, getting them back on the circuit. How does it feel when you're kind of going for it? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's always a good feeling, just just channeling energy, really, not thinking, just playing, listening, and reacting. So, yeah. Beautiful. With the, you talk about the reaction thing, I mean, there was a small rehearsal yesterday of you guys just meeting, and then flew into it today. There's a lot of reactions going on there. Do you find the energy good with Vortec and Tamar? Yeah, the energy's been good. Um, obviously, it's our first time playing together. Um, so, yeah, we're just listening and getting to know each other musically and uh, personally. Yeah. Wicked. There was a... I mean, the idea was that it was going to be improvised, but then... Right at the end, there was an improvised encore. Um, I saw some gymnastics from you with your with your foot. Have you ever have you ever swept the stage doing that? Have you uh, has that always come off? Um, not not all the time. That's something um, I picked up from Milford Graves, who's a drummer and musician that I admire a lot. Wicked man, wicked. Um, so I mean, we can't really avoid the subject, but it's been it's been some months for live work, right? The, we're kind of in a new dawn. How does it feel to get back out again? Yes, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great to play live to uh, <coughs> to an audience. Um, you, you miss the. It's a two way thing. A concert. So we're giving energy out, but the crowds also giving energy back, even if they're sat down listening, you still feel feel like you get something from the audience. Yeah. Have you missed that? Yeah, definitely. So it's good to be back. It's great to be back. Yeah. What have you What have you got lined up? Um, well, I've produced um, an album for saxophonist Marcus Joseph. Um, that's going to be released on the Jazz Refresh label. Um, also got a new project with um, Wonky Logic, multi-instrumentalist. And also been working on an EP with uh, a personal band called The Knock Cultural Ensemble. We should be coming out on Touching Bass. Nice. And uh, Sons of Kemet's next album uh, should be coming out sometime next year. I can't, can't say too much about that, but um, yeah, so that's, I think, amongst other things, that's, yeah, that's what's going on. Nice, man. I've got utmost respect for the Sons of Kemet work that I've seen when, whenever you've been live, always always smashed it. Very different vibe to this kind of audience, right? Do you get a... Is, is there a kind of physical difference after a Sons of Kemet gig? Uh, yes. Well, it depends on the gig, like... That, that band can adapt and react to pretty much any situation, so we have played smaller sit-down venues but um, yeah generally if it's a bigger venue stand-up crowd they will, it's a lot more physical so afterwards it, yeah it can be pretty exhausted nice one man nice one so the uh, with the Sons of Kemet um, I mean they're a massive inspiration to the current generation of 
of like jazz in the UK and further afield. But you've also you've also worked with Tomorrow's Warriors, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all came up through the Tomorrow's Warriors scheme um, from a young age. So, and I think yeah, Gary Crosby and the larger Tomorrow's Warriors family, they've played a big part in a lot of the new music coming out of London. Um, so yeah, we're just happy to be um, carrying on the tradition and legacy of our elders. Wicked, man. Nice. Yeah, it's important work. And it's great we've got figureheads like yourself. Um, I know that you've got a bust, bust to a flight, right? Straight back into that old routine of in and out. Um, but it's not the first time you've been to Warsaw, right? You've been before and you, you know the cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, I've been, been to quite a few places in Poland. Um, yeah, it's always a pleasure to be here. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, come back soon again. Super. And the trio, did you enjoy? Do you think there's something there to do more gigs? Are you, are you interested in that kind of vibe? Yeah. Improvised? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, uh, I enjoy improvising with um, Tema and Wojtek. Uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. I hope, hope we do more. Thanks for taking the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank Eddie, you. Eddie, it's been super, man. Thank you very much. Have a great trip back and uh, see you on the other side, you know? Yeah, thank you. Wicked. All the best. Cheers, fella. Hi, Tamar. Hey, Pete. How are you doing? Good to see you in Warsaw. Nice to be in Warsaw. <laughs> nice to be in Kind Warsaw. of a surprise to be in Warsaw. Yeah, yeah. Like actually being, actually being able to get on a plane and get to Europe. Everything's it's changed, right? Yeah. It's been at least six months when, since we saw each other because of the whole lockdown yeah. and whatnot. Um, this is your first gig to an audience, right, in that time? Yes. Yeah, the... Um, you know, I've been really fortunate to be involved in a few um, video streams and things like that and a few recording sessions. But the most people I've played to is the camera crew, I think. So, yeah, <laughs> first gig to an actual audience in the same room as me. Getting the energy off the camera yeah. crew is, is something that... Um, uh, you know, getting the energy off the camera it's, crew it's is fine, good. Is good, yeah. It's not the same, is it, as a crowd? No. How, how did you find it? Good. Really nice. Was and there a lot of emotion? Was there different, different things? I, do you know what? I think I've been fortunate from having done those kind of video sessions. It's eased me back into doing an actual live performance to an audience because it's not the first time I've been in a room with fellow band members, with some other people. So I think that's made the transition easier. If this had been the very first thing I'd done, it would have been much more of a shock to the system. Yeah. Um, but also just what has happened in a way thanks not thanks thanks to lockdown is the wrong phrase yeah. because of lockdown is there's a, a kind of um, a remembering of the actual joy of just playing yeah. Yeah. real joy of connecting with your fellow musicians yeah. connecting with other people in the room whoever it is whether it's an actual audience whether it's other people who are working on whatever their part in the project is just that real joy of communicating with music yeah. feels um, somehow fresh again. Yeah, because you know it's it can be it can be a grind. I understand the musicians' plight of and the, the airports travel and sometimes. travel and yeah. flights yeah. and bookings and all the rest of it. Um, this has been very smooth. This yeah. has been lovely. I'm just gonna Amazing. make that point. Well, this trip out to Warsaw has been really chill. Good. We need to thank <laughs> Worldwide FM and you know uh, sponsors. Sponsors alert with Adam yeah. um, uh, Mitchkovich Institute as well for putting this on. It's been it's been great. It's been a yeah. great opportunity. It's been to really have great. That. Yeah. And this this trio. I mean, the, the, at the heart of it, there's there's been this idea within the label and within our work together to do a, a, tr a trio format with Tamar Kolakuta there and also Vortec. Um, we had one little go at it, right? At We Out Here Festival. Brief. 
<laughs> the improvised, <laughs> very brief, the improvised feel of this, is it something that you kind of, you're vibing with, you want to... Oh, definitely, the freedom, definitely. Are you feeling yeah. freedom? Yeah, absolutely. And that's also something that has um, developed through lockdown, through um, projects with some other friends, um, like Bex Birch from Vuliviel. She tells me that I say that wrong, so I need to learn how to say the band name properly. Um, but that's a different yeah. story. But we had sort of regular plays over Zoom, which were all improvised, and you had to contend with the lag as well. And then after that, um, there have been some other things like a duo project with Idris Rahman from Ill Considered, which we actually recorded last year, but that's come out. Um, <clears throat> and doing some stuff with Sarathi, yeah. always. Like, there's um, a thing we did at Real World for WOMAD was pretty much purely improvised with five of us um, and just the joy of just like I was saying earlier joy of getting in a room with other musicians and playing again and listening to each other and responding and connecting and yeah. communicating that's um, that's taken on a real importance and really has come to the foreground of actually a way to approach playing at the moment rather than kind of trying to sit down by myself and compose and it also um, has started to feed in with Colocuta a little bit with the last album with some of the tunes on there where I tried to just give more um, ideas of, of basic motives to the rest of the band which we then built the tune on so things like Deep Peace and Pause yeah. had relatively few actual composed elements and it was more about playing as a band and that seems to be a way um, just projects I'm involved in are going at the moment and we all just seem to be really enjoying just listening and playing. Enjoyment is an important yeah. thing, you know. But there's a there's a different kind of there's a different kind of connection and communication. I think when you're you're improvising to when you're playing composed music. There was a lot of communication going on tonight between yeah. the three of you, but also like it was improvised. But there were some themes that you worked on in the studio after landing last night. But that um, was only yesterday. It was only it was only <laughs> yesterday. It was a few hours ago. Exa exactly. Yeah. So it's it was it was still improvised. Um, I do believe the encore was improvised. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a kind of, oh, yeah. are we going on to bow? Are we going to do an encore? <laughs> okay, we're doing an encore. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, that was, that was super. Um, musically, yes. how do you feel about, like, the, the quick rehearsal and then tonight? Good. Yeah. Really good, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's actually a real... Uh, I'm going to say joy. I keep saying joy a lot tonight. Joy. <laughs> Um, it's been really great to play with Eddie. Yeah. Um, because previously, I think, really, we've just played together as part of Delish or Simi's band. Which is uh, um, it's based on a groove, right? Yeah, so, you know. yeah. So this is, for for me playing with Eddie, this is a really different context. And he's just great. Yeah. It's really great. Yeah. And tonight, I think, um, I got the impression that for him and Wojtek, it was um, a lot more fun and a lot easier to communicate than it was in the studio where we rehearsed yesterday. Yeah. Um, because we were on cans and, you know, we had yeah. a bit of separation. Yeah. Um, whereas tonight, it's a relatively small stage, but that means we're all really right next to each other and really able to sort of look and make gestures with eyes and eyebrows yeah. and things yeah. like that as much yeah. as um, as much as anything well, else. Well, as much as language can do, you yeah. know, in, in a way. Well, and also just being able to feel what's going on with the other player and, and anticipate where they might be going with something. Amazing. The Yeah, I think I think I got I got the feeling that one of you was gonna set fire to something. <laughs> I, it, it really it really had that like th there was a rawness. Yeah. To moments yeah. tonight, so it was, it was a bit looser. Yeah. But the music being played got harder, and especially Eddie. And I thought at one point Vorte was going to, you know, he was doing his he's doing his best to break that bass, you know, yeah. and then <laughs> you were cranking it up, and then all that low end was coming out, and it's like, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of pressure, a lot of sound pressure tonight. I think that was great. Good. Good. You attempted to ever, you know, just have you ever, have you ever destroyed your instrument? Have you ever? No, I have never destroyed stage? my instruments. Yeah. Not, uh, not intentionally. Yeah. No, I may have accidentally knocked it and put a dent in something, but I've not intentionally destroyed my instruments. <laughs> Did you feel happy to be back? Was it? Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. What else, apart from these live streams that have been developing in the last little period of time, as we're kind of 
in or out of not lockdown, lockdown, three people, six people, eight people. Yeah. Uh, it's like the kind of time signatures that you guys were playing with. Yeah. What, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they are, they're, 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 they're the powers that be are, are being driven by jazz maybe for their decision making. Maybe. Um, I mean, they're definitely improvising. They're definitely <laughs> improvising, for sure. Um, I'm not sure if that'll get cut. Um, yeah. I was going to say, um, what else have you been doing? I mean, it has been six months. We were preparing to... Been. Well, we released a, your third we album. Did, we managed to get the album launch in just in time. Yeah. I think, like maybe Fine. a month Boom. before lockdown kicked in. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually super grateful that we managed to put that gig on, particularly at Church of Sound. And because, I mean, even at that point, nobody knew that this was going to happen. Nobody knew it would be in September. Yeah. 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 Um, did you get any rest? Did you recoup? I did. I did. Um, the last couple of years have been full on in a really good way. Um, so actually, when lockdown first started, it was a weird kind of relief to be forced to stop for a while. Obviously, as it dragged on, it stopped being a relief. But um, yeah. getting some sleep yeah. is yeah. always yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> And what's, what's on the horizon, <laughs> apart from sleep? That's a very good question, Pete. That's a very good question. It's kind, of, um, it's kind of unknowable, because even if there are things in the diary, really, they could disappear like a few days before mm. they're due to happen. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a couple of trips, possibly, with Sarathi. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, we're all just keeping our fingers crossed, because quarantine rules change... Yeah. At the drop of a hat. So, who knows? Who knows? Really, who so knows? To watch this space. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. well, thanks for, you know, being instrumental in this show, but also, hopefully, you know, the the Tamar Kolokuta, Fortet Mezvaleski, and Eddie Hicks, and whatever else drummer has, has plenty of... Plenty of gigs ahead. I hope so. I think, yeah, yeah I, I feel like we all want to do this There's again. some fire there, right? So, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Pleasure. Yes, Vortec. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Peter. Always a pleasure. <laughs> yes, of course. How was that? Mam się bardzo dobrze. W tym momencie jest dużo więcej czasu na życie, na komponowanie muzyki, na robienie rzeczy, które w, jeszcze przed chwilą w normalnym czasie, kiedy mogliśmy wiele koncertować i, i wiele grać, nie było czasu, a teraz jest go więcej i można wejść jakby głębiej w moment tworzenia muzyki w domu i zastanowieniu się nad tym, jaki będzie następny krok. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been um, yeah quite an unusual time, and I can imagine as a musician that you know myself DJing and being about the place, there's something so integral to your being, playing live and connecting with the crowd. But with Vorte uh, with uh, the Vortec, Tamar and Eddie Trio, there's something something new there, some kind of extra fire. This this evening, I felt like one of you was going to destroy your instrument. You know, I felt it was going to go. I didn't know if you were going to break your bass or if Eddie was going to knock over his drums. Uh, and Tamar really found that low end, right? Were you going to set fire to your bass? Wspaniale gra się z takimi ludźmi. I tak jak mówisz, jest to bardzo e, zwariowana muzyka, ponieważ jest bardzo otwarta. Jesteśmy, wchodząc na scenę, przygotowani na wszystko. Na wszystko, co się może zdarzyć. I nie ograniczamy się w żaden sposób. E, tak sobie postanowiliśmy, że te nasze pierwsze koncerty będą opierały się bardzo mocno na intuicji. Wysyłaliśmy sobie wcześniej różne fragmenty muzyczne, motywy, jakie nam teraz grają w głowie w domu. Ale kiedyśmy się spotkali, to nagle cała ta energia podwyższyła się wyżej i wyżej. 
I popłynęliśmy z tym, nie zastanawiając się nad tym, jakie to ma być po prostu. Ja od dawna miałem ochotę założyć zespół z ludźmi w Londynie. Jestem tam często i znam tą scenę i, i czuję, że tam się dzieje coś podobnego jak w latach 90. w Gdańsku, kiedy działa się tak zwana scena jasowa tutaj. I że to jest taki moment, w którym wolno wszystko, gdzie muzycy wykorzystując improwizację, wykorzystując jazz, wykorzystując wszystkie inne style, tworzą coś bardzo współczesnego, tworzą coś, co opowiada o życiu tu i teraz, takim jakie ono jest razem z internetem, social mediami, z wielością informacji, a jednocześnie z potrzebą bycia blisko ze sobą, bycia blisko natury i bycia w ogóle przede wszystkim świadomym. Okay, thank you. So, so we've we've orbited each other for a while, and it's great that we're here in Warsaw after this this break, and it's great that we're you know involved in the live thing, and I'm very happy to be presenting tonight and having, you know, bringing the kind of that international feel back to your life and also to Tamar and being a part of that is very special. Um, but like I say, we've orbited each other for a few years and we had the first trio idea a couple of years ago and then we finally made it happen with Tamar for the first time last summer. Um, but this is a project that I think i think can really go places. Do you do you get that energy? Is is like the on the corner Tamar Osborne, Vortek Mazowlewski. You you like that that triangle of energy? Tak, to z Tamar, jak powiedziałeś, spotkaliśmy się w zeszłym roku na festiwalu We Are Here i to było wspaniałe. Zagraliśmy w zasadzie w ciągu dnia, ale Energia była bardzo dobra. Ja znam ją już z nagrań grupy Colocutor z wytwórni On The Corner i od początku, kiedy usłyszałem te nagrania, bardzo mnie to, że tak powiem, poruszyło. I słyszę w niej bardzo dużo wrażliwości, bardzo dużo jakby świadomości takiej gdzie zmierza współczesna muzyka, więc bardzo chciałem, żeby w ogóle z nią pracować. I bardzo cieszę się, że, że to się rozpoczęło. Bardzo się cieszę, że mogłem zaprosić Tamar i Ediego do Warszawy i że tutaj robimy ten następny krok razem z, z, z Instytutem Adama Mickiewicza, razem z klubem Spatif, którym bardzo dziękuję tutaj za za wsparcie, za możliwość jakby robienia tego, szczególnie w tym trudnym momencie, w jakim teraz jesteśmy, kiedy, kiedy wydaje mi się, że bardzo ważny jest dla, dla nas jako artystów, ale też przede wszystkim w ogóle dla, dla wszystkich ludzi, dla społeczeństwa, żeby pokazać, że możemy wrócić, żeby pokazać otwartość, żeby pokazać to, że, że spotykanie się i, i czerpanie jakby z kultury, czerpanie z, ze sztuki, czerpanie z muzyki, pozwoli nam szybciej wrócić do normalności. Amazing, like whatever. Um, so for you, a concert like tonight, um, the freedom that comes with an improvised trio, how does it feel coming from that background of working very much with Pink Floyd, Um, bringing that element in, also kind of your own quintet of looking at the work of uh, Chris, uh, Commodore through to the other duo that you've done recently. Are you are you able to bring in lots of those elements? Would you find a would you find a freedom in improvisation? Can you can you go somewhere else with it? Tak naprawdę to co dzisiaj robiliśmy jest esencją tworzenia muzyki. 
bo powstaje ona tu i teraz w bardzo dużym stopniu. Zaledwie fragmenty ustalamy bądź decydujemy o tym, że na przykład chcemy cicho zagrać koncert. Jedynie tyle. Znaczy cicho rozpocząć go, przepraszam. Chciałem powiedzieć. Ale tak naprawdę na tym polega yy, rozwój muzyka, że wchodzisz w taką otwartość i w robienie muzyki i komponowanie jej na żywo, czyli improwizację, która się yy, wydarza w danym momencie. Tak naprawdę rozpoczynając pracę z Pink Floyd czy, czy Wojtek Mazelski Quintet, o których wspomniałeś, tak naprawdę spędzaliśmy, zanim cokolwiek zrobiliśmy, wiele miesięcy właśnie robiąc taką muzykę. Dopiero później wybierając z tego najlepsze fragmenty, dopracowywaliśmy to w, do takiego stopnia, żeby stworzyć z tego kompozycję, e, na bazie których będziemy mogli się odbijać jako trampoliny, żeby, żeby na koncertach jakby wchodzić w ten stan, ale jednak mieć pewną bazę. Tutaj polegało to na tym, że tą bazę musieliśmy stwarzać e, sobie dosłownie moment wcześniej albo w ogóle pozbawiać się jej i skakać jak ze spadochronu, co zdarzyło mi się robić też na żywo, e, bo to jest wspaniałe uczucie. Czy jak leci ze spadochronu, czy jak właśnie grasz taką muzykę, po prostu wchodzisz w to całym sobą i grasz, nie myślisz. Więc to jest wspaniałe doświadczenie i esencja muzyki i bardzo się cieszę, że, yy, że mam nowy zespół, z którym właśnie to robię i rozpoczynamy nową przygodę. Mam nadzieję, że będziemy ją kontynuować i że przyjedziemy do Londynu grać i, i może wydamy płytę, a, a później będziemy mieli okazję jeszcze bawić się ze sobą wiele, wiele razy na różnych scenach. Ok, thank you. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're in extraordinary times, or we're coming through extraordinary times. Um, how has lockdown been for you? Have you had time to create and rest and recuperate? Because obviously you've been, you know, you tour internationally, you play constantly. Has there been, has it, has it been difficult as a musician? Like part of it obviously is your very being is that you're on the road, you're playing, but then have you managed to regenerate some energy during this period or creative? Do you see, is there a new creativity? Dla mnie osobiście był to bardzo kreatywny czas, odpowiadając przede wszystkim na, na to, czy, czy ten czas generalnie był dobry. Dla mnie tak, okazało się, że tak. Choć jeżeli miałbym spojrzeć na to z lotu ptaka, wiem o tym i czuję to jakby wśród swoich przyjaciół, czuję to też sam w swoich zespołach, że jest to też dla funkcjonowania muzyków i artystów w ogóle, bardzo trudny moment, ponieważ poczuliśmy, że rzeczywiście w tym świecie, który się dzisiaj kręci i tak naprawdę przede wszystkim polega na pieniądzach, które trzeba zarabiać, to my nie jesteśmy w żaden sposób tak istotni. Choć kiedy robimy to, co robimy, nam wydaje się, że poświęcamy, znaczy nie wydaje się, poświęcamy temu całe życie i wydaje nam się to ważne. Ale wracając do mnie, prywatnie, od 20 lat jestem w zasadzie w trasie koncertowej i, i prawie 120 koncertów grałem każdego roku, więc nagle okazało się, że ten breakdown, pandemia e, dla mnie była czasem, w którym mogłem się zatrzymać, mogłem odpocząć e, i czas, który spędziłem z przyjaciółmi, którzy przez długi czas tam nie czekali, rodziną i tak dalej, wpłynął bardzo dobrze na moje ciało, bardzo dobrze wpłynął na mój umysł. 
pozwolił mi uspokoić się na tyle, że nagle zaczęły mi dzień po dniu przychodzić bardzo nowe i bardzo inne pomysły niż do tej pory. Wróciłem do grania na gitarze, komponowałem bardzo dużo na niej i, i czułem moc tej muzyki, więc dziś jestem otwarty na to, że cieszę się, że mam zespół Pink Freud, cieszę się, że mam zespół Wojtek Mazyski Quintet, ale nagle poczułem też bardzo duży potencjał do robienia nowych rzeczy i jedną z nich jest trio z Tamary i z Edim. The warrior trio. I've just heard. <laughs> I've just heard that your name in Polish means warrior. And I, at the end of it, I introduced you because I really see you guys as as figureheads, as strong kind of leaders in that that freedom sounds. You know. Um, so Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, we've done several bits of radio together, a couple of gigs. I think we need to have have our own radio show you know maybe exchange some music discuss the music that we love um so hopefully i can get you on uh, radio again soon um and yeah we can go head to head on selections i'd love to pick your brain on some of that um is there is there anything around the corner for you is there, what what's next have you got have you got any secret secret news for us have you got any any announcements to make you know Bearing in mind this will be out on Wednesday, so you can you can tell us anything you want. What what's coming up next for Wojtek Mazowiecki? W przyszłym miesiącu wychodzi nowa płyta Pink Freud. I to jest taki news, który który przyszedł do nas bardzo niedawno. I tym się zajmę już jutro, pojutrze i tak dalej. Ale w zasadzie ta płyta została przygotowana wcześniej. I, i tylko czekała na wydanie. A ja dzisiaj zajmuję się przede wszystkim tym, żeby myśleć, co zrobić z nowym trio, z Tamarą, z Edim. Myślę, co zrobić z projektem z Janną Dudą, który, który rozpoczęliśmy też zresztą w klubie Spatif. I jest w tym bardzo dużo takiej pierwotnej energii, bardzo dużego takiego dziecięcej radości. I czuję, że chciałbym to kontynuować. Czuję, że chciałbym po prostu robić nowe rzeczy. Będę pracował ze swoimi zespołami, bo to, są, to jest moja rodzina. I Pink Freud, i Wojtek Mazyski Quintet. Ale y, chcę też jakby robić nowe rzeczy. Chciałbym w najbliższym czasie, jak tylko będzie można, pojechać do Londynu i spędzić tam parę miesięcy. Bo taki miałem plan przed pandemią i pandemia niestety, że tak powiem, zatrzymała ten czas, ale dzięki internetowi, dzięki On The Corner i dzięki, dzięki temu, że się wszyscy znamy już jako, jako ludzie, którzy kochają, tak jak mówisz, dobrą muzykę, kochają winyle, e, kochają po prostu improwizację, świeżą muzykę, to możemy się komunikować nawet w tych trudnych czasach przez internet i tworzyć coś nowego dla ludzi I mam nadzieję, że że dzisiejszy wieczór i, i to spotkanie y, jest pewnym otwarciem i pokazuje, że powinniśmy zmierzać w tym kierunku. Amazing. So there's, you know, a nice reveal there. Lots of stuff around the corner, on the corner. Um, I mean, I have to thank you for helping make this happen. Um, obviously, Worldwide FM are instrumental and the Adam Mitchkovic Institute. I think I got it almost <laughs> right that time. <laughs> Fourth time lucky. Right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and obviously this place is your home turf. Um, Club Spatif is it's, it's your place, right? You know, you're, you're, you're resident, basically. So thank you very much for bringing us into this world and hopefully we can, we can do more soon. Ja tobie dziękuję, Pete. Agacie. Uh, i tak jak powiedziałeś, Instytutowi, Klubowi Spatif i wszystkim, którzy byli w to zaangażowani, bo to naprawdę było piękne spotkanie. Ja mam nadzieję, że my się niebawem zobaczymy w Londynie. Dziękuję Ci za wszystko.